Hi, this is Rob with SafeNet AT, and today we're integrating our Luna SA HSM for Government with Microsoft Active Directory Certification Services. We'll be configuring a certificate authority here using our HSM to store the root key. For this demonstration, we'll be using Windows Server 2016. These instructions are basically the same for Server 2012 and other versions. The prerequisite for this is to have the Luna client installed and configured. We do have other guides and videos that walk through setting that up. So here we'll open a command prompt, change into the SafeNet Luna client directory, and run VTL verify. This is to check that the Luna client was configured correctly and is ready to go. Once we've run VTL verify, we can also use the CMU list command to view the contents of the partition. In this case, the partition is empty, so there are no objects listed. Once configuration of the CA is complete, we'll be able to run this again and see the keys that were created on the HSM. Once we have the Luna client configured, we do need to run the KSP register utility. This configures the key storage provider for Microsoft to access the HSM. In order to access this utility, we'll use Explorer to navigate to Program Files, SafeNet, Luna Client, KSP. And here we see the utility, kspconfig.exe. Double click on Register or View Security Library. This is where we'll point to the DLL file used for the Cryptokey library. The library path here will point to the SafeNet Cryptokey library, DLL file. So click Browse. And then browse to, again, see Program Files, SafeNet, Luna Client. Scroll down and select the cryptokey.dll file, and then click Open. With that selected, we click Register and verify that it was registered correctly. Next, we double click on Register HSM Slots. We'll need to register this for two users. The administrator user is the one who will configure the certificate authority and also the system NT authority user will be used to actually run the service, so both need access to the HSM slot. So first, we'll select the administrator and the domain, selecting the available slot and entering the password for the slot. We'll select register by slot label and click register slot. Next, we repeat the process for the user's system with the domain NT authority. Again, we make sure we have the slot selected, enter the password, register by slot label, and click register slot. Now that we have the KSP registered, we can move on to configuring the certificate authority role. So now from Server Manager, we click on Manage and then Add Roles and Features. This launches the Add Roles and Features wizard. Here we'll select role-based or feature-based installation and click Next. We'll make sure the current server is selected and click Next. Here we'll click on Active Directory Certificate Services. When we do that, it pops up this notification about adding features. Select that and then click Next. Here we click Next. Make sure Certificate Authority is selected and click Install. Installation takes a few minutes, so you can leave this window open, which will show a link to the configuration option when it's done, or you can close this window and access the progress and configuration later through the notifications on Server Manager. Now that installation is completed, we can click the link to begin configuration. Here on the Credentials page, we'll need to make sure we select an administrator. For a standalone CA, you can use the local administrator account. When configuring an enterprise CA, you will need to enter the credentials of a user that is a member of the Enterprise Admins group. Now we select the Certification Authority role as the service to configure. Click Next. Here we'll select the type of CA. Under Specify the Setup Type of the CA, we'll select either Enterprise CA or Standalone CA. This determines the type of CA configured. 
Enterprise CAs can use templates and auto-enrollment and are typically online issuing certificates. A standalone CA is typically used as an offline CA or a root CA. Now for the type of CA, we select either root CA or subordinate CA. Typically the root CA would be kept offline and would issue certificates to the subordinate CAs which would then be issuing CAs. For this demonstration, we'll be using the root CA. On the private key page, we'll select the option to create a new private key and click next. For the cryptographic options, we'll select one of the SafeNet key storage provider options. In this example, I'm using RSA. The type of key used and key length and hash will depend on your security policies. Here we can provide our own name for the CA or use the default. I'll be using the default given. On this page, we select where we want the log file stored. I'll accept the defaults and click Next. On the confirmation page, we can review all of the settings and then click Configure. Once this is completed, we can close this dialog box. Now if we issue the CMU list command again and enter the password for the partition, we'll see the keys that were created on the HSM. The certificate authority is now configured and using the HSM to store the private key for the root certificate. And this concludes configuring the Microsoft Certificate Authority using Active Directory Certificate Services with the SafeNet AT Luna SA HSM for Government.